Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677333862 moving on Puducherry's Puducherry's first ever beach festival was named as IC Pondi inaugurated highly important extreme poverty in India declined by 12.3 percent during 2020 uh, 2011 to 2019 and this report was released by CIPRI BRO will construct their highest Tunnel connecting Himachal Pradesh to Ladakh and Shinkula Pass. Another important. And in Arunachal Pradesh, BRO will be constructing their first steel slag road. Alright, then Ayushman Bharat Health and Wellness Center scheme marked the fourth year anniversary. Question will be asked directly that Ayushman Bharat Health and Wellness Center has started or has observed which anniversary recently. It was the fourth year anniversary. Jammu and Kashmir government launched Jan Nigrani app to help people lodge complaints online. India's first portable solar rooftop system was inaugurated in Gandhinagar, Gujarat. Next is government has set up Kirti Parekh, a committee to moderate gas prices near Punducherry. That means in order to control the gas prices of cylinders in Puducherry, the government has set up this Kirti Parekh. Highly important scheme. Alright, what does this scheme says or what is it all about? Let's discuss. The government of India, first of all, remember who set up this? It was set up by government of India to review the formula for the formalizing the prices of gas produced by companies. In that means in order to keep a check on the prices of those gas cylinders and so that those companies cannot randomly increase the prices of gas because our India is highly dependent, our uh, people there are huge poverty below line people and huge people who have a very poor population in India. So in order to cater those needs, in order to cater to daily life situations, they need gas prices, they need cylinders. So if the energy price and energy companies decided to hike the price, they should be a check on it. All right. So for that, the committee was chaired by energy expert Dr. Kirti Shantilal Parekh, a former member of the planning commission, which will include members from fertilizers ministry as well as gas producers and buyers. So remember, government set up Kirti Parekh committee to moderate gas prices. So and this committee will be chaired by whom? Kirti Parekh only. All right. He is a very famous chaired, uh, very famous energy expert. Then remember the committee aims to lower the inflation and promote the use of cleaner fuel. That means these uh, government they want or this committee they want basically this is a part of a government only so basically the committee wants that the prices of these fuels should 
come down because we know when if you remember electric vehicle when they were earlier launched they used to price very heavy all right they were around 15 to 20 lakh rupees per vehicle after subsidy but now you can see as time is passing as we are doing research and development in that field and as the awareness is being created the prices of these electric vehicles are slowly and slowly coming down even for solar panels if you remember when the solar panels were launched initially the prices of those panels were very high but with time and with awareness the prices of that particular panel is reducing day by day coming back this will suggest a fair price to the end customer so coming back friends it was government of india that set up a committee to review and formalize the pricing of gas produced by the companies and for that they uh, set up a committee and the committee will be chaired by dr kirti shantilal parekh highly important if we talk about kirti parekh committee the committee will recommend a market oriented transparent and reliable pricing regime for India's long-term vision for ensuring gas-based economy. If you remember, recently what is happening in Europe is that they were heavily dependent on Russia for their gas supplies. All right, this is that one of the main reasons that is that their economy is collapsing and they are seeing high inflation because Russia has cut their gas supply down. And we know that in Europe it will be a winter season now, and in winter they will be needing high or they will be needing gas so that they can keep their houses warm so for that they will be requiring gas but now russia has cut their supply of gas because europe and even european union has implemented huge sanctions on russia all right next next we are talking about agri bazaar agri bazaar launched kisan safalta card for agriculture financing i repeat as the name suggests agri bazaar and Kisan Safalta, this is related to agriculture and it is a Kisan Safalta card for agri financing. That means if a farmer needs to purchase some produce for their farming, say for example seeds, fertilizers, if they want some equipment that will make their uh, farming easy. So for that they have been issued a Kisan Safalta card so that they can finance their agriculture products. All right. So Star Agri Bazaar Technology Private Limited, that is Agri Bazaar and Electronic Agri Mandi, it is similar to that of an e-marketplace, has launched Agri Bazaar Kisan Safalta card, that is a farmer-centric card that supports the farmers to meet their pre-harvest and post-harvest farm requirements and other related expenses. The farmers can use the card to avail the financing facility. Funding through this is restricted to buying farm inputs. All right, that, <coughs> that means <laughs> with the help of this card only the produce that is related to farm will be produced or they can be purchased all right in phase one this card will be available to farmers in the state of madhya pradesh rajasthan maharashtra delhi and ncr regions of delhi all right so these are the location where this card will be launched on pilot basis and there will be a facility of 12 month repayment period for this particular Agri Kazan Safalta card. All right. Also remember the uh, card amount can be adjusted for marginal farmers that can be ranging from 10,000 rupees to it can go up to 50,000 rupees. Then if we talk about this Agri Bazaar, who is the chief executive officer of this Agri, Agri Bazaar? Amit Agrawal. When was this established? In 2016. Where is the headquarter? Mumbai, Maharashtra. So coming back, what you need to remember from this news that it was Agri Bazaar that has it is similar to that of a e marketplace. They have launched a Kisan Kisan Safalta card that is for providing agriculture financing to the farmers for pre harvest and post harvest. And this card is just limited to buying farm produce. Nothing else can be produced here. They can get a 12 month repayment method as well as this will provide them a range of rupees 10,000 rupees to 50,000 rupees. Next, Sports Ministry. They have launched Meet the Champion initiative. India and Tanzania decided to set up a task force for defense cooperation. Uttarakhand's Chief Minister have launched CM Udyaman Khiladi Unyan Yojana and here remember why was this launched in order to create a better opportunity and create an awareness of sports in the youth of Uttarakhand. For that, Rishapant was also appointed as the brand ambassador. Even uh, Akshay Kumar was also appointed the brand ambassador of Uttarakhand. Coming back, 
आंध्र प्रदेश साइंड एन एम ओ यू विद पार्ले फॉर द ओशंस टू सेव सीज फ्रॉम पॉल्यूशन आई आई टी मद्रास हैज़ पार्टनर्ड विद इंस्पायर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स टू डेवलप बॉक्सिंग एनालिटिक्स सॉफ्टवेयर हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रेंड्स क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्ट टू यू दैट विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज टाइड अप विद इंस्पायर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स फॉर डेवलपर बॉक्सिंग एनालिटिक्स सॉफ्टवेयर इट वॉज योर आई आई टी मद्रास राइट नेक्स्ट इट इज योर एक्सिस बैंक एक्सिस बैंक हैज टाइड अप विद पे नियर बाय टू एम टू बूस्ट प्रायरिटी सेक्टर लैंडिंग आई रिपीट इट वॉज योर बैंक वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ द बैंक एक्सिस बैंक दे हैव पाइड टाइड अप विद पे नियर बाय टू एम टू बूस्ट प्रायरिटी सेक्टर लैंडिंग हेयर ऑल द बैंक आर रिक्वायर्ड टू एक्सटेंड दे आर फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ द ओवरऑल लैंडिंग टू प्रायरिटी सेक्टर्स विच इंक्लूड्स लोन टू एग्रीकल्चर एम एस एम ई सेक्टर्स एक्सेट्रा All right. Then, if we talk about this partnership, remember, Axis Bank could reach the customers in remote regions and provide banking solutions digitally. That means, even in the remote areas, in urban areas, these facilities are being provided. But if we talk about rural areas, where the awareness is less, where the knowledge about such uh, digital awareness is less, so in that areas also, in those remote areas, in those rural areas, Axis Bank, with the help of this partnership, with play pay nearby. can reach to the customer and provide them various solutions digitally and make them aware about these solutions that how can these solutions be beneficial for them also this will also simplify banking for retail shops owners and individual customers if we talk about pay nearby who is the md and ceo of pay nearby anand kumar bajaj anand kumar bajaj is the current chairman and managing the current managing director and ceo of pay nearby then if when was this established it was established in 2016 and where is the headquarter it is in mumbai maharashtra all right so coming back friends it was pay nearby technology that has partnered with axis bank so that they can boost the credit growth in the meeting the bank's priority sector lending such as they can be msme sectors they can be agriculture sector even to small businessmen small self self help groups will also be provided funding with the help of this tie up so basically you can say that all the technology work will be done by pay nearby and all the finance related work that is to provide uh, these small businesses these individuals with money will be done by axis bank hello students how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 9th of september the session will be very important so do pay attention till the end so friends yesterday i gave you some homework questions here deepak yadav has given all the correct answers so congratulations deepak yadav i hope for whatever exam you are preparing you hope i hope you clear that exam all right all the students can match their answers from this particular slide moving on friends now let's start first we are talking about center government of india that is center has recently extended the ceasefire agreement with nscnk nikki group for yet another year what is this nscnk nikki d group for one year we will talk about it all right first of all you remember who started the ceasefire or who extended this ceasefire for how many years for one year this ceasefire has been extended so remember ministry of home affairs under the government of india has extended one year extension to the ceasefire agreement with nscnk k is nikke group so nscn is your national socialist council of nagaland khaplang all right it is a split off faction of naga insurgency organization with effect from 8th of september to 7th of September 2023 that is the for full one year what is the reason for this ceasefire why we are discussing this there must have been some reason why this ceasefire was started or any problem that is going on between these two groups so you need to remember first thing that this ceasefire is signed between government of india and nscnk group it was for in 2021 since september 2021 for one year now it has been again extended from 2022 till 2023 this ceasefire all right another thing you need to remember this nscnk is led by nikki sumi nikki sumi who is leading this nscnk group that is your nikki group or 
Nikki Sumi is leading this group. Also, in 2015, this group killed around 18 Indian Army soldiers, due to which NIA, that is your National Investigation Agency, has announced a reward of 10 lakh rupees for allegedly killing these 18 soldiers. But all you need to remember that government of India and NSC, and that is your National Socialist Council of Nagaland, has recently signed a or has extended their ceasefire agreement. It was started in 2021 September, and it completed in September 2022. But now it has been again extended from 7th of uh, 8th of September 2022 to 7th of September 2023. And who is the leader of this NSC N group? It is Nikki Sumi. And also remember, he was. in uh, a reward of 10 lakh rupees was awarded because nikki group has killed around 18 indian soldiers another thing remember this nscn was formed in 1980 but split into two groups that is nscn k and nscm im in 1988 NSCNK was founded by Myanmar based SS Khalpang in 1988 after detaching from NSCN group and NSCN IM was founded by Isak Chisi Su of Nagaland and Thwingling movie of Manipur that called itself NSC IM so just information you need to remember one more thing friends that i need to tell you regarding the content that we provide you say for example we are providing you pocket wise pdf we are providing you topic wise current affairs we are providing you weekly current affairs we are providing you monthly current affairs pdf also top 100 questions pdf so remember pocket wise uh, pocket pdf and your topic wise pdf they will be released on the 7th of every month all right on the 7th then weekly they are provided to you every 7 days all right we make sure that every 7 days you are provided with weekly current affairs for monthly and top 100 questions remember on 10th of every month or before the 10th of every month you will be provided with the monthly current affairs pdf all right friends the important thing that i want to mention here is that we provide content in english as well as in hindi to all the students who are looking for the content of pdf in hindi because i have seen many times the students are asking for hindi pdf the content in hindi so students for those students those who are looking for hindi content you can check our careers cloud application from where you can download the uh, from the google store you can download the app and from that particular application careers cloud application you will be able to see various courses that are offered by us and in those courses we offer you hindi pdf along with english content also all right so the students those who are aiming for hindi content they can definitely check our hindi pdfs also that are provided on the courses that are offered by us on our careers cloud application next sbi and war sbi and wwa re has collaborated to finance projects for customers and channel partners i repeat for consumers and channel partners it was state bank of india along with wari engineers limited that is wwa re and that is india's largest manufacturer of solar photovoltaic panels have signed an agreement for solar project it enables wari to obtain unsecured financing for solar projects through sbi surya shakti solar financing scheme and to provide working capital for its channel partners through the electronic dealer financing scheme so coming back what is this scheme remember through this scheme of the surya shakti solar finance uh, wari aims to use a credit line of worth 500 crore rupees and offer loan applicants to a digital platform to seamlessly finance solar project that means this company that is wari engineers limited that is the largest manufacturer of solar solar photovoltaic panels in india they will be taking or you can say they will be having the line of credit worth 500 crore rupees with this collaboration with sbi so that in in simple terms we can say with this collaboration sbi will be providing 500 crore rupees to wari so that they can start they can have their operations running all right they work they have their working capital in hand and they can come up with more solar panels and more advancement in coming time because we know india is now rapidly growing in renewable energy sector they will be needing more and more panels on daily basis because the requirement is very high and the production should also match the demand in order to keep the prices check once the there is a huge demand and there is no supply for these solar panels we can see the prices rising as we are seeing in the cases of 
semi conductor chips all right the reason is of all one of the reason that uh, your cars your mobile phones and your electronic devices are getting slightly expensive is because we can see a huge shortage of these electronic semiconductor chips all around the world the reason can be as i told you earlier it was your taiwan that is one of the largest exporters of these semiconductor chips and we can see that in taiwan recently there is multiple cases are uh, there a war like situation is going on because any day there is no uh, certainty that there will be a war or not but still there's a high chance that china and taiwan even they can go on a war just like the ukraine and russia so coming back friends it was a collaboration between state bank of india and warwick uh, engineers limited that is the organization that develops photovoltaic panels all right so in order to develop more they will be provided with the line of credit of 500 crore rupees in this collaboration with sbi highly important if we talk about sbi who is the chairman dinesh kumar khara ji when was this established 1955 where is the headquarter it is in mumbai maharashtra next lic lic has introduced new pension plus plan highly important all right if we talk about it it was lic that has introduced a new individual pension plan that was lic's new pension plus npp scheme all right why it is important because it was launched at hotel trident during the function of insurance week celebration that is from 1st to 7th of september so another thing that you need to remember when do we observe insurance week it is from 1st to 7th of september what is this scheme that we are talking about remember it provides pension seekers various investment options which can be selected as per his or her risk taking capacity it has a unique identity number that is uin number here you can see this plan will aid in systematic and disciplined savings which can be used as a regular income by purchase of an annuity plan or completion of term that means here in this particular plan that is your new individual pension plan or you can say the lic's new pension plus scheme here the pension uh, it will provide those pension seekers a various investment opportunities so that when because we know pension is provided by the government to the government servants of before 2003 who have been appointed in the government before 2003 they were awarded with or they are being provided with uh pension scheme or that they are provided with pension but now those working in the private sector won't be have any pension so in order to secure their old age in order to provide them with uh, pension in the old age this uh, pension scheme was launched by life insurance corporation all right also these provide a uh, pension seekers will be provided with various opportunity of investment so that they can select as per their risk taking capacity and they will be provided with pension at that age all right here you can see the entry age for this particular p uh, npp that is your national pension plus scheme is minimum they should be of 25 years of age and maximum they should be of 75 years of age all right next next is defense expo where will the defense expo will be held this will be held in gandhinagar gujarat from 18th october to 2020 or uh, 22nd of october then if we talk about 35th 36th national games we are talking about 36th national games where these games will be held they will be held in ahmedabad gujarat all right national games we are talking about then google launched india ki udan to celebrate 75 years of independence telangana launched nithanna ku bima scheme for weavers that is a insurance scheme for weavers samudrayaan mission to send 6000 uh, humans 6000 meters deep in ocean microsoft became the first company to join ondc network also important this five question i am talk, telling you again and again because they are important all right even microsoft will be developing a mobile application mobile application for this ondc network then maharashtra governor inaugurated 22nd bharat rang mahotsav another important next lord lords mark industries get direct insurance broking license from irdi i repeat lords mark insurance broking service private limited the insurance division of lords mark industries have received 
the direct insurance brokering license from IRDI for selfing life and general insurance products. I repeat, what is the use of this direct insuring broking license with the help of this Lord's Marks Insurance Broking Service Private Limited will be able to sell life and general insurance products to various individuals. Highly important. The company will penetrate the underserved market segment in tier two and tier three towns in addition to metro cities. The company is planning to collaborate with leading insurers to launch the insurance products on their platform that is Policy King. All right. What is this Policy King? Policy King is a mobile application through which customers can compare all the available insurance offers and choose the right insurance term life insurance, health insurance, motor insurance as per their need. Then if we talk about Lord Mark, remember who is the chairman, uh, managing director and chief executive officer of Lord Mark Industries, Sachin in the Upadhyay ji. When was this established? 1998. Where is the headquarter? Thane, Maharashtra is the headquarter. So coming back friends, remember it was your Lord Mark's insurance broking service private limited that have recently got their uh, direct insurance broking license from IRDI and what will how, why will this will be beneficial for them because they now they will be able to sell and sell their general insurance products sell their health insurance sell their motor insurance to individual people and they have this policy king mobile application which will enable the individuals the customers the consumers to compare all the available insurance offers for their particular field, whichever they are choosing from, be it your life insurance, be it your health insurance, be it your motor insurance and other insurances. Next, HDFC Bank, they have unveiled the bank on wheels in Gujarat, highly important. Housing Development Finance Corporation Limited, that is your HDFC, has introduced a, another different kind of uh, ruler banking business, that is bank on wheels. In the village of Koshtevar, remember, where is this Koshtevar? It is in Gujarat. This is an initiative to offer banking services in unbanked areas around the Alankeshwar. I repeat, which is your bank that has recently launched Bank on Wheels in Gujarat? And where was this Bank on Wheels launched? It was launched in Gujarat by HDFC Bank. All right. What will be this Bank on Wheels do? They can go to distant villages position 10 to 15 kilometers from the closest department to the additional accessibility. That means even in rural areas, we know that there is no proper accessibility. People are not having awareness. So in order to create awareness about the saving account, to create them awareness about how they can save their money, how they should take more insurances and every banking facility all right all those services that are provided to an individual in the urban area so same services can be provided to rural areas this scheme this bank on wheels was launched by which bank it was by hdfc bank and where was this launched? this was launched in gujarat all right one more thing important that you need to remember for hdfc bank is that it is the first bank i repeat HDFC Bank is the first bank that has translated the finance literacy material into Gujarati language. I repeat, HDFC Bank became the first bank to translate the financial literacy material into Gujarati language. That means financial literacy, awareness about it, all the information that you need to have regarding it is has been now translated into Gujarati language in Gujarat by which bank? It is your HDFC Bank. Next important friends, take a note of it. NIES, BUD, Triple IE, and ISB. These three organizations came together to offer entrepreneurial programs to the youth of India. What are these now? Let's look at the full form. NIE, SBD. What is this? It is your National Institute for Entrepreneurship and Small Businesses Development. I repeat, National Institute for Entrepreneurship and Small Businesses Development along with double i e is your institute of uh, indian institute of entrepreneurship and isb is your indian school of businesses so remember national institute for entrepreneurship and small businesses development and iie that is indian institute of entrepreneurship along with ISB that is Indian School of Businesses, they have signed a memorandum of understanding to provide world class management education through these entrepreneurial programs and to teach youth 
to provide awareness to the youth to tell them about entrepreneurship to tell them about how they can build their own jobs for them as well as not just for them how they can also provide jobs to various individuals of the country so remember these three organizations came together also remember here two programs will be started under this mou one is your business foundation and entrepreneurship skills and second is your behavioral skills program what is this basically it is to teach youth about the business foundations and entrepreneur skills that how can you handle a business what are the reasons what are the ways that in order to run a business all right how a business is run then how to deal with your skills i mean how to deal with your personal skills with an individual or in a power company member so if you are working with a large group of people you should also have good communication skills all those communication skills all those business related questions will be solved in under this mou and they will be providing training and helping youth to have a entrepreneurship mindset all right so remember it was your national institute for entrepreneurship and small businesses development nies bud along with iie indian institute of entrepreneurship and isb that is indian school of businesses they signed an mou to teach indian youth about the entrepreneurship to provide them various facilities to create them about about this awareness and also with the help of this what they will be doing indirectly is they will be creating job opportunities for thousands of individuals all right then can you tell me where is this the headquarter of nies bud located it is located in noida that is in ncr uttar pradesh where is iie located that is indian institute of entrepreneurship this is located in guwahati assam then if we talk about isb that is your indian school of businesses this is located in hyderabad telangana next world's longest suspension bridge sky bridge 721 that has opened in czech republic Bhagwant Kuba delivered a keynote address on the India solar energy market at InterSolar Europe 2022. Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan has been appointed as the president of UAE. Nepal and India signed six MOUs and agreements related to education and hydropower sector. England's Canton Cool became the first foreigner to scale Mount Everest 16 times. Next we are talking some about awards. Karim Benzema we know he is a very famous footballer and Alexa Putlas has been awarded with the UEFA player of the year title remember Alexa Putlas she is also a player she plays uh, she is from which country she is from Spain she is also a footballer and <coughs> Karim Benzema he is from France so they have been awarded with the player of the year title for 2120 to if we are talking about man player of the year uh, uefa man player of the year he will be karim benzema and if we are talking about the women player of the year she will be alexa putlas all right highly important fast that karim benzema he is from which country he is from france and alexa putlas she is from which country she is from spain highly important remember this so friends the countries are done but in football you remember there are clubs also so karim benzema he plays for which club he plays for real madrid he plays for real madrid and if we talk about alexa putla she plays for which club she plays for barcelona and she is the captain also of barcelona football club all right so remember these friends highly important next next we are talking about vyas samman first of all remember vyas samman is given by which organization it is given by kk birla foundation important question and this question has been asked in you the government exams multiple times all right this vyas samman is given in the field of literature hindi literature to be specific all right so recently the 31st edition of vyas samman was awarded to renowned hindi writer dr ashgar wajahat all right in new delhi he selected the prestigious award for his play mahabali the mahabali is focused on mughal emperor akbar and its poet tulsi das so coming back friends remember vyas samman it is given by kk birla foundation in 2022 it was the 31st edition of vyas samman that was presented to hindi writer dr ashgar wajahat in new delhi for his play mahabali all right then coming back <coughs> during this vyas samman can you tell me when was this initiated or the first edition of vyas samman presented it was in 1991 by kk birla foundation 
all right next next we are talking about shaji prabhakaran has been appointed as the secretary general of aiff that is your all india football federation and dhar as his deputy i repeat all india football federation appointed shaji prabhakaran as their new secretary general and resigned from the football delhi president's post as per the aiff president kalyan chobe proposed the appointing prabhakaran as the general of the aiff and appointed sunado dhar as the new deputy secretary general of the sports body so if we talk about uh, sunado dhar he will be the deputy secretary of aiff and if we talk about the secretary general who will be the secretary general shaji prabhakaran will be the new secretary general of all india football federation why these all changes are done because recently fifa banned aiff the reason they banned uh, aiff was because of the third party influence in aiff so that is the reason they if aiff was banned by fifa but now the ban has been revoked also remember if we talk about the men aiff men footballer of the year for india we are talking about all right we saw that for uefa uh, benzema was appointed men footballer of the year but if we talk about aiff specifically all india football federation men footballer of the year he was sunil chetri and if we are talking about vim aiff women footballer of the year she will be manisha kalyan next indian fmcg what is fmcg fast moving consumer goods so indian fmcg pintola announced sunil chetri as their brand ambassador and we were just talking about sunil chetri that he was awarded with the aiff men footballer of the year award all right so coming back sunil chetri has been appointed as the brand ambassador of which indian fmcg company it is pintola highly important directly remember it next remember india uh in india recently we successfully test fired the quick response surface to air missile qrsm remember it was your drdo along with indian army that have successfully tested the quick reaction surface to uh, not response quick reaction surface to air missile so question can be asked this is a surface to air missile or surface to surface missile so it is a surface to air missile all right where was this tested it was tested off the coast of odisha all right from the integrated test range chandipur of the coast of odisha that was tested all right highly important also remember that drdo test fired an enhanced range pinaka multi barrel rocket launcher at the balasor pokhran rajasthan also highly important coming back it was we are talking about drdo if we are talking about drdo who is the chairman g satish reddy will be the chairman and where is the headquarters it is new delhi if i ask you where was or which organization recently successfully test fired an enhanced range pinaka multi barrel rocket launcher that is multi barrel rocket launcher was tested by which organization by whom drdo and the location where was this tested it is pokhran and where is pokhran pokhran is located in the state of rajasthan <coughs> moving on Anishka Biani Anishka Biani has won gold medal in the Malaysian chess meet highly important Anishka Biani who is a 6 year old a Mumbai girl who has won gold medal in the Malaysian age group rapid chess championship in the Kuala Lumpur Malaysia so remember the first grade student Anishka Biani has won the gold medal in the Malaysian chess meet highly important next England Scanton Cool became the first foreigner to scale Mount Everest 16 times. Hassan Sheikh Mohammed elected as the president of Somalia. Elizabeth Bond appointed as the prime minister of France. World Bank has sanctioned 350 million dollar for Shrestha Ji project of Gujarat. Nirmala Sitaraman chaired the 7th annual meeting of board of governors of NDB. External Affairs Minister S J Shankar has participated in BRICS foreign ministers meeting hosted by China. world's first urban airport pop up air one a this is the name of this airport that will be specifically for flying cars and drones and where has this opened up this has been in united kingdom <coughs> next bhojpuri folk dance exponent padma shri ramchandra manji recently passed away i repeat question can be asked that ram shri uh ramchandra manji who recently passed away she is related to which sport she was related to or she was related to which dance she was related to bhojpuri folk dance and she was a padma shri awardee she was well known for 
Londa Naj and she was recently passed away in Patna Bihar where was she born she was born in Bihar itself Manji was one who gave international recognition to Londa Naj highly important this Londa Naj is a folk dance that is of men cross dress as women in this Londa Naj that is women has uh, men is been dressed in the dress of a women all right highly important question can be asked that Ramchandra Manji was a famous folk dancer of which dance he was related to londa nach moving on manji was born in bihar and he recently passed away in bihar itself if we talk about padmashri he was awarded with padmashri in the year 2021 all right in the field of arts and another award that is sangeet natak academy award was awarded to him in the year 2017 for his contribution to the folk music of bihar and londa nach famous for londa nach shri ramchandra manji ji then world's first urban airport air one will be launched in uk world bank announced 30 million dollar of bill 30 billion dollar fund for food security crisis then world's highest weather station installed on air everest <coughs> and which is the organization that has set up this weather station highest weather station it is net geo then anthony albanese sworn in as the australia's 31st prime minister jose don jose jose ramos horta sworn in as the president of east timor india and jordan signed an mou for cooperation in the fertilizer sector next next a book that is india's economy from nehru to modi a brief history by professor Pulare Balakrishnan will be launched recently. I repeat, book. The name of the book is Indian Economy from Nehru to Modi: A Brief History. And who is the author here? Pulare Balakrishnan. Next, International Literacy Day on 8th of September, with the theme Transforming Literacy Learning Spaces. You have to remember the theme. This is important. Next, S S Mundra Ji appointed as the chairman of B S C Limited. Kamal Baba elected to the U S National Academy of Sciences. B Govinda Rajan appointed as the new CEO of Royal Enfield. Navin Shrivastava appointed as the new envoy to Nepal. Sunil Arora appointed as the non-executive chairman of Gram Unnati. Gopal Vittal appointed as MD and CEO of Bharti Airtel. Important friends. So friends that's all for the day. Now it's time for our quick revision. You can see the cabinet approvals on from the PDF itself. Government of India extended ceasefire agreement with NSCN K Nikki Group for another year until September 23. Government of India set up committee to moderate gas prices that will be headed by Dr. Kirti S. Parekh. Union Minister Dharmendra Pradhan visited Australia to explore aspects in education and skill development. Read this. Agri Bazaar launched a Kisan Safalta card for agri financing. Axis Bank has partnered with Near Pay nearby. Uh, has partnered with pay nearby to boost banks priority sector lending targets then sbi and vare has collaborated to finance projects for consumers and channel partners lic introduced non participating unit link new pension plus scheme lord marx has introduces great direct insurance broking license from irdi hdfc bank has unveiled bank on wheels in gujarat NIES BUD and IIE and ISB signed an MOU to offer entrepreneurship programs to the youth of India. Karim Benzema and Alexa Putlas has won the UFA player of the year for 2122. Hindi writer Dr. Ashkar Vajhat has conferred with the 31st VI Samman Vyas Samman award and it is given in the field of Hindi literature. Shaji Prabhakar appointed as the secretary general of EIFF and her as his deputy secretary. <coughs> Indian FMCG company Pintola has announced Sunil Chetri as their brand ambassador. DRDO if we talk about it India successfully completed the 6 flight test of QRSM and successfully test the Pinaka rocket at Pokhran that is in Rajasthan. Anshika Biyani has won the gold medal she is 6 years of age she has won gold medal in the Malaysian chess meet. Bhojpuri folk dance exponent and a Padma Shri awardee Ramchandra Manji ji has recently passed away. He used to uh, he was associated with which folk dance Londa Nach. A book titled India's Economy from Nehru to Modi: A Brief History. This book has been authored by Professor Pulare Balakrishnan and if we talk about International Literacy Day it is observed on 8th of September. So friends that's all for the day. Now it's time for your homework. The Union Environment Ministry approved the new Coastal Zone Management Plan for which state? 
एस ऑफ मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू विच इज द इंडिया एक्सटर्नल डेप्ट एज पर द फाइनेंस मिनिस्ट्रीज डाटा विच कंट्री इनोग्रेटेड मैत्री सुपर थर्मल पावर प्रोजेक्ट कंस्ट्रक्टेड अंडर द इंडिया कंसेशनल फाइनेंसिंग स्कीम विच कंपनी डेवलप्ड आई एन कोवैक्सी इंडिया फर्स्ट इंटरनेशनल कोरोना वैक्सीन फिफ्थ इज इंडिया कंडक्टेड अ साइबर सिक्योरिटी एक्सरसाइज एज अ पार्ट ऑफ इंटरनेशनल काउंटर रैनसम वॉर इनिशिएटिव इन कोलेबोरेशन विद विच कंट्री अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन सो दीज आर योर फाइव होमवर्क क्वेश्चन फ्रेंड्स एंड आई एम सींग दैट चिल्ड्रेन आर जस्ट कॉपी पेस्टिंग द आंसर जस्ट बाय कॉपिंग फ्रॉम सम स्टूडेंट कमेंटेड इट अनदर स्टूडेंट विल जस्ट कॉपी इट एंड पेस्ट इट डोंट डू दैट देर इज नो यू नीड ऑफ डूइंग दैट इफ यू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू चीट दैन नो नीड ऑफ कमेंटिंग the comments are these homework questions are given for your revision purpose so that you can get benefit of it just by commenting there is no use of it how will that benefit you all right so don't cheat while commenting the answers that is one of the most important things of this video all right friends so that's all for the day thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel you can go and follow us at Affairs Cloud Telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is seven six double seven triple three eight six two apart from this friends you can follow us on the Facebook as well as on Instagram handle that is Affairs Cloud underscore official. In the end, friends, if you use a code that is Vikas Ten, you will be getting an additional extra ten percent discount by using this code Vikas Ten. Also, if you have any problem regarding the course purchase, any problem regarding to our application, you can contact us on the mobile number that is nine six double seven double three three eight six two. And if you want to mail us, you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud dot com. And I assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon. and resolving your issue